Good morning everybody, I'm Veronique and I'm back with a new video on Scope International YouTube channel. So this morning I'm going to speak about the impact that have the environmental and the sustainability in terms of natural resource economic around the world. So focus on the supply demand allocations of the air natural resource. So the objective is to analyze natural resource economic and to do the following key points natural resource economic focus on the supply demand and allocations of the air natural resource every man-made produce in an economic is composed of a natural resource to some of the natural resources are either renewable or non-renewable depending on whether or not they replace natural natural resource utilizations is regulated through the score of tax and points natural resource utilizations is regulated through the use of tax and permits the government and individual state determine how resource must be used and the monitor availability and state of the resource natural resource economic are linked to the economic society and environmental natural resource economic focus on the supply demand and allocations of the air natural resource it is called is to gain a better understanding of the role of natural resource in economic learning about the role of natural resource and make sure that they are maintained the future generations the goal of natural resource economy is to develop an efficiency economy that is sustainable in the long run what is the importance of environment? The society and economic are structures of the environment. It is not beneath sociable and economic system to exist independently from the environment. For this reason, natural resource economic focus on understanding the role of natural resource in the in economic in order to develop a sufficient and sustainable economic to protect natural resource. The type of natural resource. Natural resources are derived from the environment. Some resources are essential to substantial while ordinary simply social terror. Every man may produce in the economy in compares of natural resources to some degree. There are numerous ways to classify the type of natural resource. They include the source of the origin, the states of the development, and the renewability of the resource. The following materials and again source are the following. Yoki. These resources come from the living and organic materials that is found in forests and animals and include the material that can be obtained. It's biotech. The natural resource also include fuel, fossil such as coal and petroleum, which are formed from an organon, organic matter that has been detected. The biotric, this resource comes from no chlorine and no organic materials. Examples for this resource include load, flash, water, hair, heavy metal, gold, beans, cotton, silver. Natural resources can also be categorized based on the stage of development. Potential resources, these are resources that exist in the regions and may be used in the future, for example, in the country. Petroleum in the sedimentary rock, it is a potential resource until it is actually dry out of the rock and put to use. Activity resource. These are the resources that have been subject. The quantity quality has de been determined and they are currently being used to develop the actual resource that is dependent on technology. Reserve resource. This is the type of natural resource that can be developed profitability in the future. Stock resource. These are the resources that have been subject that cannot be used of a lack of technology an example of the stock resource in nitrogen or four
following that the natural resource they are they are available in the quantities and the quantity is not noticeable affect by human consumptions loyal renewable resource do not have a rapid recover rates and subjects the depend of their overload. No renewable resource. These resources come from extremely show and do not naturally form in the environment. A resource is considered to be not renewable when the rates of recovering examples of non renewable natural resources are mineral and fossil fuel. This is constant worldwide debates regarding the allocate of natural resources. The discussion are centered around the issue of increasing sources, resource depletions, and the expectation of natural resources as a basic for many economies, especially developed regions. The vast majority of natural resources are exhaustively rich, which means they are available in limited quantity and can be used up if they are not too much. Currently, natural resource economy and to study resources in order to prevent depletions. Natural resource utilization is regulated through the use of tax and permits. The government and individual states determine how resources must be used and they monitor the availability and state of the resource. An example of natural resource protections is the Clean Air. Act. The Act was designed in 1963 to control air pollution on the natural level. Regulations were established to protect the public from airborne carbon that are as a juice to human health. The Act has been revised over the years to continue to protect that quality over the air and health of public in the U.S. With in the example of renewable material resources, is occur natural environment and has the ability to replenish itself. It has also been used as a form of energy developed through wind turbine, basic economy of natural resources. Basic economy and natural resources. Natural resource economy focuses on the supply demand and the allocations of the uh, natural resources to create a more efficient economy. The main objective of natural resource economy is to get a better understanding of the role of natural resources in the economy. By studying the natural resource economy, learn how to develop more sustainable methods of managing resources to ensure that they are maintained for future generations. Economic study, our economic and natural system is relevant in order to develop an efficiency economy. As a field of academic research, natural resource economy addresses the connections and independently between human economic and natural ecosystem. The focus is how to generate an economy within the ecological constraints of the air natural resource. Natural resource economy, the natural resources. Economy focus on fishing, for example, miracle, new deal. However, in recent years, more than topics have become increasingly important, including air, water, and the global climate. Natural resource economy, example, welfare, therefore, pollution control resources, exorbitant environment management resources, extractions, no making valuations, environment policy, and additionally. The research topic of topic natural resource economy can include the topics such as the environment impact of agriculture, transportation, and urbanization as used in poor and industrial country, international touch, and the environment and the climate change. The impacts of natural resource economy. The funding of natural resource economy are used by government and organizations to better understand how to efficiently use and system natural resources. The funding are used to get insight into the following environment and our exceptions. The process of withdrawal resources from natural extractions and to are the basic for the primary sections of sector of the extraction depletions and using of the natural resource, which is considered to be the global sustainable development issue, 
many governmental organizations have to become increasingly involved in preventing smart carrier resource economy provide data that to determine how to balance the needs of the society now and preserve resource for the future protections the prevention of natural resource for the future the founding of economy have governmental optimizations develop measure of protections to sustain natural resources protections policy states the necessity actions international nationals and difficult that must take place to control natural resources and take declarations that is a result of human activity management the use of natural resources taking into account economy environment social concern this process uh, this deal with managing natural resources such as the lands and water water soil gland and animal particle focus is placed is into our the preventions of natural resources impacting the quality of life now for the future generations external and impacts and resource allocations productions and use of the resource can have positive or negative affections the allocations of the natural resources learning objective examine externalizations and how the impact the resource allocation of natural resources resource allocations and externalizations is the cost of benefit that affect the party who did not choose to incur the cost of benefit the negative externalizations also called the external costs and pose a negative effect on the third party also has been said it has been found out that the learning objective examine externalizations and how they have been impacting the resource allocations of natural resource resource allocations and external is the cost or benefit that affect the party who did not choose to incur the cost of benefit the negative externalization also called the externalizations cost and pose a negative affect a third party also say that when external costs are present the market equilibrium use of a natural resource is inefficient because the social benefits is less than the social cost in other words society will have been better off if a few natural resources has been used positively externally also refer to external benefit and pose a positive effect on the third party assuming that natural resources are used and also sustain the external benefit of growth predict but make natural resources impact the majority of the public the positive resource allocations is a division of good for the use of projections within the economy the needs and the world of society as well as industry and power is produced supply focus and produce the variety of goods and service that will hurt the greater defections consumer in the large run externals also impact the resource allocation external costs a negative externality impose a negative effect on the third party to an economic transactions many negative externalizations impact natural resources negative because of the environment consequence of the projections were used for example air pollution from factory and back can cause damage to crop likewise water pollution has a negative impact on the plants of animals negative externalization air pollution from vehicles such as these who drive the vehicle and those who sell the gas in this case externalizations the marginal private cost of consuming a good is less than the negatively social and public cost the marginal cost benefit should equally the marginal social cost and increase when the marginal costs are mainly uh, benefit in less than the social cost you know the across society and the natural resources involved would have been better off if the natural resources had not been used at all developed country use more resources and must enact sustainability development plan for the use of resources the many needs must be met but the environment and natural resources must be preserved example of resource depletions include Meaning petroleum extraction, fishing, forestry, and agriculture. Exact benefits, external benefits. Positive externalizations also referred to as external benefit and pose a positive effect in third party. 
an example of the positive externalizations is when we drop our pollutive pollutions by bees from um, neighborhood from bees from farm in order to achieve the social optimal equilibrium. The marginal social benefit should equilibrate the marginal social cost projection should be increased as the marginal social benefit extends the marginal social cost assuming that natural resources are used and also sustainable to the external benefit of good produce by the material resources and by impacting the majority of public in the positive way. Yeah. In this case, we summarize what is I've been sharing about the natural resource economy, the impact that it does increase and develop to the supply demand and allocation on the earth by defining the economic, the social and environmental impact. Thank you very much for your listening and see you later for the next video.